Hello and welcome back to your own channel Indian Defense Analysis where we bring to you all the latest development happening in the defense sector. Recently we have made a video named Hypersonic Missile vs HIMARS who is winning the battle. The idea behind that video was to highlight the importance of artillery and rocket in the warfare. Those who are closely following Russia-Ukraine conflict might be knowing that Russia is retreating from Kherson region. As per Russia, this is being done in order to protect the lives of troops, civilians and combat readiness of the units. But this is the result of heavy pounding by high mars artilleries. At the same time, Russia has also claimed to shoot down 9 Ukrainian unmanned aerial vehicles and intercepted over 20 high mars and Olka rockets and three harm anti radiation missiles on 9th november in today's video we will discussing on russian weapon which was able to shoot down even the himars rocket the system which is shooting down the himars rockets and the himars system itself are buk m2 and buk m3 as per a russian operator the system is capable of tracking the projectile launched from himars system and then take out the himars system on the ground with a single buk m3 missile the buk m3 is capable of detecting targets flying as low as 5 meters it can extrapolate projectile's trajectory to the launcher's exact location by tracking multiple rockets fired from launcher at short intervals the buk m3 is also known as viking It is a medium-range surface-to-air missile system and modernized version of Buk M2 system. It features new 9M317M missile and electronic components to provide much improved capabilities and increased performance on interception of cruise and tactical ballistic missiles. Now, this new missile has a range of up to 70 kilometers, maximum altitude is 35 kilometers, and minimum range of fire is 2.5 kilometer, and minimum altitude is around 15 meters. The Buk M3 system even outperforms the old S300P long-range air defense system. Now, this air defense system can engage tactical and strategic aircraft, helicopters, short-range ballistic missiles, cruise missiles, air-launched missiles, anti-radiation missiles. guided bombs and other aerodynamic vehicles a buk m3 tailor vehicle is fitted with radar mission erector and launcher and friend of four identification system the tailor carries a pod with six containerized missile it also has tl vehicle version that lacks radar but carries two pods with a total of 12 missiles a buk m3 missile engages its target using command guidance active homing or combination of both the missile is equipped with a directional explosion warhead a battery of buk m3 missile can target and engage up to 36 targets simultaneously the buk m3 can also engage sea and land targets due to its vertical launch capability now while russia has claimed to destroy the himars projectiles and system using buk m3 The USA has denied and even Ukraine has denied any high mars system being destroyed by Russian armed forces. The Buk M3 is capable of destroying high mars system, but they are not a stationary target. These rocket systems are meant for firing and changing position to save themselves from counter fire. Therefore, it's extremely difficult to neutralize rocket and artillery system which are vehicle mounted. The only best possible way is to take them down using armed uav and kamikaze drone with optical sensors to locate lotter and destroy the rockets and artillery system the russian ministry of defense has released good number of footages of destroying the ukrainian tanks m777 artilleries using the lancet drone this was today's update please let us know your views on this in comment section if you like the video Do not forget to like share and subscribe with this I would like to say goodbye and jai hind we'll soon back with more interesting and amazing development happening in the defense sector